Good morning. Today is Thursday, December 14th. I'm glad everybody's here today. We have our PBIS event tomorrow, so show place eight. You'll be choosing which classroom um, you want to go watch a movie in if you've chosen to purchase that with your Starbucks or your points. So we're looking forward to a fun time tomorrow. We want to wish a happy birthday today to Kingston Thomas and Cooper Burris. Happy birthday to both of you. Have fun celebrating today. And I wanna do some AR shout outs today. Um, these are students in each room that have read the most words. So when you take a test, um, the program keeps track of how many words were in the book that you just read and they add it all up. So in Mr. Jackson's room, the student who has read the most words all together is Aaron Solomon. In Miss Baumgart's room, Luca Atkins. In Miss Baumhager's room, Eleni Ware. Um, in Mrs. Cantley's class, Javier Roman. In Mrs. Christ's class, Lincoln Rivera. In Miss Edwards' class, Haven Deering. Mrs. Harwood's room, Dason Williams Bray. In Miss Hart's class, Carter Allen. In Miss Marcus's class, Bella Haynes. In Mrs. Mayer's class, Finley Garrison. In Mrs. Merrill's class, Audrey Lee. Mrs. Odell's class, Gabriel Reynolds. In Mrs. Parks's room, Timothy Franzen. In Mrs. Plummer's room, um, Audrina Turner. And Mrs. Wallace's class, Robert Grady. In Miss Bolt's room, Jessica Lee. In Miss Brose's class, Zelda Ferris. In Miss Raines's class, we actually have a tie among several students, so good job in Miss Raines's room. And in Miss Sanders' room, Gracelyn Schultz. And the student at the primary center who has read the most words of all students at the primary center is in Miss Phelps's room, and that is Tariah Turner. And Tariah has read 175,650 words. So that's what this number looks like. Tariah, amazing, awesome job. We are so proud of you. And the class who has read the most words. So all of those words put together, all of the students in the class. The class with the most words is Mrs. Baumhager's class. So great job to those third graders. They have read 1,195,590 words so far. So awesome work, guys. So proud of you. Keep that up. All right, let's make it a great Thursday. Mr. Clark. Thank you, Mrs. Kessler, and good morning, everyone. And yes, as Mrs. Kessler was saying, very, very nice job to all of you on that list. Uh, even if you're not on that list and you have been doing your best reading, keep up the good work, okay? That will pay dividends as you move forward. As usual, we'd like for you to stand, place your hand over your heart, and join us in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag of, of the United States, States of America, America and, and to, to the, the Republic, Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Since today is Thursday, I do have an interesting fact to share with you all. Um, so an ear of corn, right? They usually have an even number of rows, which is usually 16. So if you were to count the rows around an ear of corn, usually it is 16. That could be an interesting fact that you could share um, with maybe someone in your family sometime. You could say that I can guess the correct number of rows on that ear of corn and they will be hopefully impressed. Also today, uh, December 14th, is National Monkey Day. I do love a good monkey. Um, today would be a great day to uh, maybe do some research on monkeys. I know News ELA is a good website for um, pulling up passages about monkeys, fiction, nonfiction, all things monkey. Okay, have a great day everyone.